Hey Maya, so some wigs here. Maya revamp them for me. Do your thing, girl. What should I do? Don't mind the appearance, we're in work mode. And as I can see, my client just left a bag of wigs on me. So we're gonna look at them and I'm gonna show you the process of revamping these and getting them clean and whatever it is that the client need, coloring, getting them looking a different style, you know? Cause we have these wigs and that's why we buy the Virgin Indian things so that they can last us for years and we can style them and bleach them and color them. So let me show you what we have in this bag. So first, she has a U-part wig. I'm a U-part wig, a closure wig. Has a little tear, so I'm gonna assess it and see what I need to do. This one might be getting a color, but it's definitely getting a wash and deep condition. As you can see, it's a bit um, tangled and looking a rough because of my client wear their wigs okay these were not made by me if you want a wig with war um weird by me <laughs> these were not made by me so if you need a, a wig made by me just dm me in the inbox or whatsapp me next is this i'm guessing it's a curl unit this is a frontal unit and as you can see this one has a lot of glue and gunk that we need to get rid of so that she can get a nice fresh install it needs to be defined we might add a little bit of color and pizzazz to this because you know it's summer 2020 we're outside we outside okay in the man them I'm outside and the last one is a frontal as well but this looks like a curly wavy um situation um same situation we need to we need to get rid of all this gunk and glue on our frontals and oh for the closure as well i'm gonna put a band in it so it's easier and more um tacked on her head so when she's on the road she's not secure about it and it can lay flat in the front area this one i'm not sure what we're gonna do with this yet i'm gonna consult with her and see what she wants to be done with it but of course it's going to be washed and deep conditioned i use silicone mix to get my wigs and my clients wigs together all right so these are the wigs keep watching to see what we do with them all right beautiful people so we're gonna start by detangling this wig and you see how rough she is doing she is rough so we're gonna take her time and comb her out because we're gonna start the process so we need to get her tamed so that when we're washing and all the other process that we're gonna do that we can manage her and get our hands and combs and tools through her properly Alright, so here you can see how dense the closure hairline is. So we're going to take that down a bit. We're going to tweeze and refresh that area so when she applies it, it looks like it's coming out of her scalp. So we're going to take that down a bit and tweeze that hairline. And when you're doing this process, you have to make sure that you have a proper 
tweezer and the hair is a little bit damp not with not during chain as you can see in the earlier parts I sprayed the hair with water so that's her now very thin you can see a lot more of the airline and now we're gonna take out the pieces that we're gonna highlight for the front facing portion of the hair Alright guys, so I'm going to take my BW2 bleach powder and my volume 2040, sorry, clear all developer to mix that and I'm going to use that to do the highlights and I'm using this because I want it to bring it up to about a volume 4, I want it to be a real brassy blonde. Alright, so now you're seeing me back combing the sections that I separated for the highlight and what this does is for, um, create a, what you call it, I don't know the word to find, but it makes sure that there's not a stark line um, across the hair. So it separates some of the hair so that it's not one stark line across the, the bleached um portion of the hair because as you can see i don't go straight down to the roots Alright, so what you see me doing here is just going randomly through the hair. So I'm combing to see where I can find some highlights, like some good highlight spots, some good quick peekaboo spots to, um, to highlight. And that's what I'm doing. I'm just drawing random pieces to see how it will frame the wig. Here we are about to wash the wig so I'm just checking to see if it's the level that I want and it is and as you can see on the wig I didn't show this part I did 
bleach the knots I did go over a little bit of the bleach mixture I added a little extra powder to the um, bleach um, mixture to thicken it and put it all over the lace um, so I'm just removing all the foils now so that we can use the shimmering light purple shampoo to get some of the brassiness out of the highlighted section and then after that you'll see me you well you're not gonna see I'm gonna show you that I use the regular shampoo to um, shampoo the rest of the hair um, and neutralize the bleach so that we can get into the other process so just watch and see what I'm doing Alright, so now I'm about to put the silicone mixture, silicone mix mixture all over the hair to treat it for dryness because it was a bit dried out and that's why your wigs tend to tangle up because they need a moisture treatment. So that is the reason to get a revamp by Moya Lovely. Get your hair treated. I also do detox treatment. I did that on this wig as well, but I didn't show that process. Detox from all the um, chemicals, the products that you use in the hair that cause the wigs and stuff to get stiff. Alright, so now after a few minutes, probably hours, um, of letting it sit, I'm going to detangle the wig while the mixture is still in there and then rinse it all out and you see how nicely we're able to comb through the once tangled hair yes we need to put that moisture in our virgin human raw hair and wig Alright, so this is the wig fully dried and as you can see, you can see more shine and luster in the wig. You see how much more healthy the hair looks and I'm showing you the highlighted pieces, the peekaboo pieces. I'm going to run through it and show you there's a few more. I left the back ones a little bit more bratty because I wanted it to blend in a bit more and as you can see I really let the purple shampoo tone out the front um, pieces 
uh, of the wig um, so yeah And I'm gonna just gonna speed through this section. I'm gonna put some curls throughout the wig and I'm gonna pin them as well for them to last. And let me say this from now in the last portion of the video, you'll hear me saying, Oh, the, the curls drop. Actually, they didn't drop, but I brushed them out. Um, but they were dropping a lot faster because I drew, I brushed them all out because I wanted to see how it would look um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you are you know one of your friend them up a wig when need for revamp you want to color it you want to treat it you want to bring back some life you want a closure or frontal replacement you can hit me up on instagram or what's whatsapp um you can get head to my link tree on my instagram to find out where to get me um look at this it's so beautiful you can see so much luster in the hair and now i'm unraveling all of those pieces and showing you the end results it is so beautiful Alright guys, this is the finished look of the wig. I haven't brushed out the curls as yet. But yeah. <laughs> look what we took it from to this. Like beautiful sweet over. This is like how I like styling. Alright, so guys, let me remind you this is a closure wig, so it's a I think it's a four by four by four closure and it was all black it was in dire need of some treatment i added some color here here at the front a little at the back so when it's curled you can see peekaboo pieces like highlights go again and then at the back as well peekaboo pieces and that is that so you flip it over you see the highlights so and then you have your little baby ear she will have more if she desires or she when she installs it we can do that but this is it for now and that's wig one the curls are dropping really fast, so I'm gonna um, what do you call that flexi rabbit. So yeah, on to the next week. Next week.